Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the Sullivan family because they've just had yet another birthday which is surprising because you know they've got 12 kids it's not like they don't have enough birthdays but they have just had one they didn't actually put up a birthday vlog which is incredibly surprising but they did put up a birthday post and I would like to just run through it because I found it a little bit hypocritical and Zoe needs to know this information before we get into it. I hope that you can all head on over to my merch store and make a purchase. Support the channel because it is in dire need of supportation. Thank you. For the month of October only, we have the Halloween merch line over at the merch store. Um, the cutest raccoon ghost on the internet. If you want yours today in a line of hoodies, t-shirts, notepads, all sorts of things, go over to the merch store today. Link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get back onto the video. Thank you. So as I mentioned, Zoe put up a post about their 18th birthday surprise daughter. Surprise, yeah, it wasn't a surprise, was it, at all? Anyway, she put up a post, right? And it was very long, it was very long-winded. Happy birthday, Olivia, 18th birthday, can't believe you're 18, blah, 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 right? Okay, I'm sure it was very heartfelt and she meant every word of it. Why it had to go on social media is another question entirely. But there was always one little bit of it I want to um, run through with you because this is the bit that I picked out which was of interest to anybody. The rest of it was just a fuffle and muffle and stuff. All right. So she says, I always feel like I don't do enough on people's birthdays. Like I should have bought more or done more. But I also know that a lot of that is sometimes down to societal pressure and what you see on social media. And I know I'm definitely not the only person that feels like that either. So when she's talking about societal pressure and what people see on social media, she has a point, right? She does have a point. However, the point is missed completely with Zoe in that she is part of the problem. She is one of the people who people look at, right, and watch birthday vlogs and birthday present openings and stuff like that. She is the one that people are talking about, or she herself is talking about in this. So instances such as this one here. Hello for all the girls. Cool. We are going to swim here. We're going to make the uh, present that they both did, so I can't say what it is. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. Remember? Yeah. I love it! What is it? I can't get it! Oh, isn't it? I love it! No, Oh, 
And as you can see, there's a shit ton of presents there, right? And people watch their vlogs. They have 20,000 people who watch their vlogs now, right? Well, 20,000 people sub to them. Only a proportion of those actually watch them. But anyway, so people will be watching them and thinking, I want that amount. That's how many gifts I should be getting my kids and things like that. You know, that is exactly how she's describing it. But also, at the same time, she's doing it herself and giving pressure to other parents, right? She goes on to say, just remember, birthdays aren't always about the big and the best presents, the biggest and best party. They are about making the person feel special, filled with lots of little special moments along the way so they know how truly loved they are. And again, very, very prophetic. Prophetic, is that the word? Yep, anyway, it's, it's very very good, Zoe, very good. Um, it would be even better, obviously, if you didn't post things such as this. Oh, Happy birthday, girls! That's better. Yeah, oh, that lamp as well. No, there we go. Got a bit of lighting now, haven't we? Two, there we go. That's two, better. Three. That's fine. Mommy. 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 Yes. Happy birthday, Florence. Just don't touch the ones on the wall. And that's just a handful of the actual videos, the present openings that they have on their channel. They pretty much do it every single birthday, although on occasion they haven't, right? Like the most recent one, the 18th birthday one, clearly the 18 year old didn't want to be filmed, which is good. And her wishes were respected, which was also good. Um, but at the same time, they have all these vlogs of their kids on the channel with all the gifts that they have now whether or not they think that that's a lot of gifts you know maybe they think that's a reasonable amount of gifts it's not even about how many gifts are given the kids it's about how it's perceived because the amount of gifts that they have on their that they are giving their kids might be out with the reaches of other parents who can't afford as much as you right it's all it's all very subjective etc and it's it's very you know they th don't grasp how hypocritical they are actually being in this situation because Zoe claims that it's all about societal pressure and, and social media giving off false expectations. But at the same time, she's given false expectations to other parents as well. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I found it a little bit hypocritical. Zoe probably doesn't see that as an issue, but it is an issue if she is putting out this big, like, amazing... Um, woey type post right on for her 18th daughter's birthday 18th birthday her daughter's 18th birthday right so yeah i just wanted to to touch base with you on this and we, we need to keep pressure on um people like this you know because they are um otherwise they would be just doing what they want to do every day i mean they are they are allowed to do what they want to do it's just whether or not they should be involving their kids in doing whatever they want to do every day right i still don't think zoe and ben actually realize or understand or grasp it i think there must be some sort of um 
mental deficiency there. I don't say that lightly. I don't, I'm not taking the piss out of anyone with mental health problems or any learning difficulties, but they they just don't get it. They don't understand. I, I genuinely think they don't understand when it comes to child exploitation or child endangerment. Um, I mean, they, they probably understand child exploitation. They probably don't think that they are exploiting their kids, but they are endangering their kids. And that is that goes without saying. I don't think they get it. I don't think they, they understand it. They clearly watch these videos, um, but they, they still will not listen. They won't listen. It's frustrating, right? It's like talking to a brick wall, both of them. Sorry, Ben and Zoe, it is literally talking, like talking to a brick wall. Anyway, that is just that. If you have appreciated this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care and bye. -bye.